Good morning everyone. Our daily grace devotion today is entitled Speaking Out in Faith. Let's read 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13. And since we have the same spirit of faith according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak. Do you know that as God's child, you can speak positively into your negative situation and see it change for the better? Let me show you some scriptures about faith and speaking that will help you. Romans 10.9 tells us that if you confess with your mouth that Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Our Lord Jesus also said, Whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says according to Mark 11, verse 23. Now, reread what the Apostle Paul wrote in today's verse. Do you notice a pattern here? Faith involves believing in your heart as well as speaking with your mouth. You and I, we are made in God's image. When God first saw darkness, he didn't say, gosh, it's so dark. What did God do? He called forth light by speaking. He said, let there be light. That's in Genesis 1.3. In the New Testament, our Lord Jesus spoke to the storm and it sub subsided. He spoke to the fig tree and it withered. He spoke to the demons, and they fled. He spoke to the sick, and they were healed. He spoke to the dead, and they lived. Similarly, when we are faced with darkness in any area of our lives today, or trapped in a storm of challenges, let's not be mired in looking at the problems and despairing. We should also call forth what we want to see. If we find ourselves caught in a dangerous situation, we should declare, The Lord is my refuge and my fortress. If there is a sickness in our body, we can call forth our healing by saying, Thank you, Jesus. By your stripes, I am healed. Start speaking forth your protection, your health, and your victory today. 